Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Total Tutor Show. I'm the host of the show, Neil Haley. Again, go to my website, totaltutor.net, to find out more information on the Total Education Network. We just keep growing each and every day, and I want to welcome the program first, my co-host, Jared. And, Jared, i got a big surprise for you today. Uh, you very, uh, very excited about this interview, Neil. Can't wait to, to hear all the information that we're going to be sharing with our audience. Absolutely, and uh, always usually the celebrities goes through. This, again, is a beach lifestyle uh, media celebrity segment, but my uh, other co-host couldn't make it, so I have Jared on line, but I'm really excited to welcome the program. Uh, three-time pro-, pro bowler, defensive end, Sean Merriman. Sean, thanks for calling, man. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having me. Well, we're excited to talk to you, especially, uh, I guess, also about life after football, especially you just announced your retirement and things like that. So give our audience a little bit of update what's going on with you, and then we'll get to really talking about your brand. You know, I'm actually finishing uh, some classes for my MBA, um, so that's that's going to keep me occupied uh, for the most part. I still get to train, train with a lot of guys in the, uh, in the NFL. Um, you know, we go to uh, either a gym or some workout facility, and uh, we still train, you know, three or four times a week. So you still, I still got to get that off my chest, that urge to always be there to work out and train and kind of compete with the rest of the guys. So, uh, you know, things, things are going well. And so uh, the life right after it, but, again, making that decision, that's that's a hard uh, decision to make, but y- y- you now have other opportunities, especially going for your MBA and, and especially your brand, your product, uh, lights out. So tell a little bit about that, and then I know my co-host will have some questions. Oh, yeah, well, well my brand lights out. Uh, it, it, it's a more of a lifestyle brand. Um just you know, I just kind of created a lifestyle uh, brand for people just to wear very nice clothes, to be able to have, uh, to be able to go to Starbucks, go to a lounge of the street. Um, you know, very nice clothes for guys between eighteen and thirty-five. Uh, check out the website www.lifestylebrand.com. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff coming, a bunch of new hot product, and uh, just recently uh, closed the deal with all MGM properties in Vegas. So we're, we're growing, man. I think that people like the product, and I just want to make sure people have the best things when they're wearing and they're walking outside. And, uh, Jared, it's nice to see that someone after football has a game plan ready in place. Isn't that nice, Jared? Uh, absolutely. I'm very impressed with the pursuing of the uh, Masters in Business and Administration, and it sounds like Sean's doing exactly what he wants to do, pursuing life in business. And uh, Sean, what if you're over 35 like I am? Uh, well, you know what? They always say 40 is a new 30, so that, that doesn't affect anything either. It just goes right along with the programming. You know, I'm just, I'm just not creating, uh, you know, clothes. I mean, we have a whole line of, of, uh, of fragrance products coming out, uh, workout gear, fight gear with head gear, uh, punching back, mouthpieces. So it's, this is a whole lifestyle brand that I've been able to create over the past seven, seven years. It's kind of finally got off the ground to launch. And, and- right. Okay. So I, I'll be able to, uh, be able to enjoy the products and I, I will look good in them and, and, uh, I uh, just wanted to make sure I wasn't too old and that the young guys would be laughing at <laughs> no, it. No, you're never too old for the brand. I mean, we, we absolutely created a brand for, uh, you know, guys like yourself and me, just, you know, regular guys who like to look nice, um, who like to wear comfortable stuff and uh, uh, be able to go out because I'm, I'm a very busy person. A lot of busy people are here. So if you don't have time to go out to meetings all day or you have to, uh, you know, you're going to the Starbucks and maybe your friends call you out for a bite to eat where you don't have to change clothes. It's, it's a whole lifestyle brand that's been able to, uh, just been created. So I think people love it. It's, it's been very popular on the website. Uh, and the, the MGM deal we just signed was huge. It's been huge. So it's, it's going to be in stores all across the all across the country pretty soon. And that that's really cool. And I guess the first question also after we talked about asking about lights out is why did you do that, Sean? Again, you know, you had a very good NFL career, a very ex- successful NFL career, uh, and you just right off the bat, not even taking a break, you're really into this brand. What? How did you come up with this idea for lights out? Well, a lot of people know me as, as lights out, uh, you know, on the football field, but I think the lights out. Uh, really still something way big to be playing on the field. Um, you know, our moniker is push the limit. Uh, I want to be able to create the products where you go and, you know, put on your lights out clothes, uh, put on your lights out, uh, fragrances, your perfume, a uh, perfume of cologne, your lights out toothbrushes. I have lights out many basketball hoops. There's really a whole lifestyle brand that I've been able to create. Um, and I think people really love, 
um, love the products from from top to bottom. And it sounds like it, and I can hear your passion, Sean. And uh, the passion's a, a key component, as Jarrett and I talk about on our education show all the time. That he he definitely seems like a student of the game, learning entrepreneurship and seeing that he has a passion to get this brand out there, right, Jarrett? Oh, no question about it. And the, the question I have for Sean is, you know, at what point did he did, did he make this jump, make this leap? Was it during your, your playing days, Sean, that you, you envisioned yourself going in this direction? Or was it as you were making that transition? Well, yeah, that pass for football is never going to be never going to leave me. I mean, I'll probably feel like I can feel, still play football until 40 years old. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's life after football once – you know, once that time comes, and for me it came. Um, and, you know, I can't necessarily say I still couldn't line up on the field and play right now, but right now uh, get my NBA launched in the Lights Out brand because I truly believe it's going to be one of the biggest brands in the country, one of the biggest brands in the world uh, uh, for the for the successfulness it has had already. What have you learned going back to school? Is that hard, Sean, after so many years since you were in college to go for your NBA? Uh, no, it's you know what? It's a little bit easier because you dealt with real life experiences. Uh, when you're in college, you haven't really been out in the real world. You haven't experienced business. You haven't been through certain, uh, you know, certain situations. So going back to learning, learning the the logistics now is a little bit easier because you've already been through that, you know, trials and tribulations of it. And it sounds like it. And it sounds like that you're definitely uh, seeing that as that you're more mature than when you were sitting in the classroom in, in, in undergrad. In undergrad, then, right? Oh, for sure. And it, uh, it definitely helped not to have study hall and practice for a few hours. That's true. As you've done with classes, so that obviously helps. <laughs> and Jer- Jared and I always talked about, you know, when we went to grad school, we had a different outlook on our education than in our undergrad as well, right, Jared? Oh, uh, no question. And um, you know, I, everyone knows our listeners to this show know that I took six years to finish my, my master's degree. I know Sean's not going to take that long. Um, to, to finish his. Um, but I want to get another question in here for Sean, and that is, Sean, when you were, I want to go back to the, the, the business idea that you had and, and, you know, what, what skills did you bring from the football field, whether it was, you know, your, your intensity, your drive, I mean, your nickname lights out. You know, everyone knows that, you know, that that's a perfect name for this product. I mean, automatically associated with, with you. What skills did you bring from your football field now into the business world? Um, just to make sure I was passionate about everything I do. I really don't believe in half-assing anything. You know, if I come out with uh, clothes, whether it's uh, or any product, whether it's clothes in the fashion, in the fashion world, in the fragrance world, in the fight gear world, just know that I'm coming out with the best of the best. And because of my upbringing, because of, uh, uh, you know, I was in an unfortunate situation growing up. I want to make everything affordable. I want everything to be affordable for people to go out and be able to wear nice stuff uh, without going out and spend a bunch of money because I've always uh, liked to wear nice stuff when I was growing up, but I could never afford that stuff. So I want, you know, my stuff to look as good as the highest quality stuff or the most expensive stuff but not be at that price point. So that's kind of um, everything that I've made so far. It's kind of been like that mid-tier type thing where people can go out and afford it and still look nice. <laughs> And, and that's a great thing, and I guess you're learning in your classes uh, how to go about and implement some of those things. That's a lot of people, you know, they start a business, Sean. They don't say, I'm going to go back for my MBA now. What is the, what's that drive to really learn business in a lot of ways in the classroom so you can put that into practice in your business? Is that a one? You know, yes. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's important. I think it's important because no matter how much you know, you're going to learn something in the classroom that you didn't know. And you're going to be able to apply it to whatever you're doing in your life. You know, if it's not fashion, if it's not building a brand, um, you know, maybe you, maybe you want to be uh, uh, some kind of financial accountant, uh, some kind of advisor. You're going to learn something in these classes, in the MBA class, that you wouldn't only learn, um, you know, without being in there. So it's, it's good to go back and, and kind of polish up on, on a little thing. And and sounds like it, and uh, and that's that's the great passion you have, and I, as and I consider you, it's you should be commended, and I think you're going to be a great a role model for uh, kids and adults in in general. Looking that you know you had your great career, you could just sit back and have other people run the business for you, but as as you're seeing, Jarrett, he's not doing that. He's trying to learn hands on so he could be successful. Uh, you know, Sean Merriman was a role model uh, for. The children and, and adults when he was playing football, and he's carrying that right over into the business world. Sean, I, what I heard you talk about 
affordability and going back to your own childhood and, and, and that impact that it, it made on you as a businessman, uh, very impressive. Paul, oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. And, and Sean, your ultimate goal for this business, where do you see this in the next, let's say, five years? Where do you want it to go? You know, I see this one of the one of the biggest uh, company names, uh, not just because myself, but the products we're, we're being able to make. Uh, you know, from the fashion uh, to the fragrances to the fight gear, um, you know, to the uh, toothbrush products to um, uh, workout gear, skiing gear. I mean, we have a we have a, a, a group a, a great group of products that we want to just be the best of the best, but not have the best of the best prices. We want to be the best of the best quality, but not have those prices and. Um, we've been successful so far. We want to keep going. And it sounds like it. And, and that's that's the important uh, aspect of this whole thing, Jared. And what also impressed me is Sean. I guess Sean's a role model for many people, except when the Steelers played the San Diego Chargers. Just to say we're Pittsburgh, we're again, we're our, our flagship station, Pittsburgh, Sean. And uh, uh, I, I think you, you, you uh, put a hitting on our uh, quarterbacks in your career. So, Jared, so you have to kind of renege a little bit on one that, that one point. Oh, uh, not not at all. Uh, I stand by what I said. And I, I I stand by again. You know what Sean's carrying over into the business world. And uh, by the way, Sean, because we have a little bit more time, uh, I guess the whole process of when you did finally say you were going to hang it up is that is it been is it kind of gone so quickly? But is it is is it something that was hard when I guess especially when the next season comes on and you're not at training camp. Yeah, I, I got I got to see when next season rolls around. I haven't had the urge yet. I haven't I haven't seen the pads and the the mini camps and the training camps and stuff. So as of right now, I'm cool. But there's no telling when that time happens how I feel. So I got to wait and see what happens. And it's and, and something that you you tell yourself all the time, you know. But I think what you're doing is you're taking that passion you put on the football field into your business, and you're going to see you're going to be busier now as a business person than you were when you were playing on the football field. And I think you're already seeing that with all the different meetings you have, all the different marketing, and going to school at the same time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But you know, my heart is always going to be in that field, no matter what. Um, you know, that doesn't change from a guy going out, laying down the line every Sunday and playing the way I've played over my entire career. It's just, you know, uh, forgetting about it and not having that same feeling when, when I see the football thrown in the air. So, um, but right now, I'm, 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 my passion is, is uh, lights out brand. And are you going to be doing any uh, uh, other things for involving uh, sports anymore? Are you going to do any uh, commentary and stuff? Or do you have any other plans? Yeah, actually, um, you know, I've been shooting a lot of shows, um, you know, a few TV shows. Um, and I got some coming up, competing on some shows, and still doing some commentary as well. I always want to be around the game. I never want to leave the game. Um, so as much as I can be around the game as possible, I'll be there. So, Jared, you're in um, – Jared, I know you yeah, have a question. Go ahead. Are you right? I do. Um, I, you know, Sean has talked about his passion for the game and, and what he's carried over into the business world. Sean, what, if, you, if you had to answer the question of your most memorable moment on the football field, how would you answer it? Um, wow, that's, that's tough. Um, you know what, when, when probably when, uh, I got a sack before LT broke the uh, touchdown record in, uh, 2006. Um, you know, I, I kind of picked the ball up and, and, and brought it back over to LT and the very next play, LT ran it in and the whole team kind of lifted up L. So I think that was one of the, one of the biggest that comes to mind first. Wow. I, I, another player, another player's memory is, is event is one of your, special memories that you have. I like that. Very nice. All right. Well, Sean, where can we find information on you? We really appreciate you coming on the show, and uh, you're welcome to come back again if you're talking about if you're working anything when you're working with kids or doing other things off the field as well. Uh, where can we find more information on you and uh, purchase uh, some of your apparel and uh, and follow you? Where, where are the best places? Um, you know, www.lightsoutbrand.com. Uh, we have new products being sold every week. Uh, very nice, very affordable for people. Um, also, I have a bunch more things coming up with the Lights On Foundation. Um, you know, I've, I've had the foundation going for years now. Um, a huge uh, co-drive at the University of Maryland. Where we, over the past 10 years, we've collected a little over 25,000 codes. Um, we raised close to a million dollars across the country, working with different charities, different foundations, uh, raising money for the homeless. 
Uh, so Lights on, Lights on Foundation is something I'll be very dedicated to as well. Well, we're going to have to have you on the show for that one, so we'll make sure we reach out to your publicist to have you back on to talk about Lights On. So thanks again for calling, Sean. For, for sure. Thanks, guys. All right, take care. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. You're listening to Total Tutor Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.